Hey everyone, Eric with Rockin' H Live. Happy New Year to all of you tuning in tonight. Um, just gonna, this is the pre-show, which uh, you're watching right now, and I have my phone actually in my hand tonight because we got to take a little trip before we get started. So we're going to wait for a few people to get on the call or on the show, and then we are going to get started on Session 10, K100 Build. So this is going to be a standard sleeper using a DCP K100 instead of going the resin route, which you can buy those, and if that's what you want to do, that's cool. Uh, we're going to actually do this via pre-show. <laughs> we're going to do this with diecast, which I'm excited about. It's a little more work, but I actually I like working with diecast. This for me it's just kind of fun. So that's what we're doing tonight. I uh, started the pre-show a little later than I intended to, but I have a practice K100 that I'm doing along, <laughs> and I was taking it apart to refresh my memory on how those things come apart. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Hi, Carson. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm looking forward to seeing how Matt gets his done. This is going to be pretty awesome. Hi, Jacob. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh... I believe Jacob and I have a date in February, right? Okay, I have got my I've got my uh, page dialed in so I can watch some comments and in, uh, in real time on my Facebook page too. So lots going on here, but I'm excited. This is going to be a good time, and. Uh, this was the first victim, so I'm doing two at a time. One I'm going to get rid of, or one one is spoken for, and then uh, this one, I'm going I'm to keep one, because I think it'll be cool. And uh, just so you know, uh, I have Josh at Bedlam Creations. I contacted him today about decals, and uh, he said, yes, he is interested in doing the decals for this show, or excuse me, for this build, um, but what happens is, once we get this cut down and put back together, I'll have him, I'll size everything and I'll take a picture and send him a picture front and side of this uh, in real scale so he can draw the decals on it and get them pretty well spot on. So I'm, I'm looking forward. This is going to be cool. This, this is going to be a really neat build. I think the decals are going to be a PIA to put on, but nevertheless. So uh, we got about 15 people on already and that is cool. So, um, even though I started pre-show a little late, I'm going to get going right away anyway, just because uh, your time is valuable and I want to respect that. So we're going to kick it off. So for all of you that just joined, this is Eric Hazelhorst with Rockin' HTV Session 10, Lesson Numero Uno of K100 uh, Standard Sleeper Build out of a DCP cab. And this is uh, just totally stoked for this because these are kind of fun. And, and I love working with diecast. It's just Even though it's easier to work with resin, uh, we're going to do it this way just, just to mix it up and have some fun with something different. So, um, tools you're going to need. Uh, tonight, you're going to need um, just a minimum amount of tools. You'll need a pair of pliers if you happen to have them, or side cutters. This will work, although I found the pliers to work very well this evening. Um, you're going to need a some type of sharp object. This is a screwdriver that I just sharpened to a point, uh, just so I can push stuff and, and you'll see it when we get into that. A small flathead screwdriver, exacto knife, bing, bing, boom. And what else? I had something else. I, oh. I think that's it. That's all we need. But now we need a truck. Let's go get a truck. So this is where we take a little trip over to my freezer. And right there is our victim. So this one is uh, <laughs> coming out of the freezer. Now the reason to do this is, as many of you know, uh, you've heard me tell you in the past when taking apart DCP trucks, that if you freeze them for a little bit, they come apart easier and um, it makes all the plastic brittle and then they just, like I said, they come apart easier. Some of the pins and things last a little longer. So I'm going to put you in the, cam in the holder and then we're going to get started, okay? Here we go. Okay, now if um, at any time in this particular show, if you don't see 
the shot very well. Make sure you tell me so I can make sure that uh, you get to see what you need to see. Okay. All right, just getting myself just a bit more organized here so everything is out of the way and ready to go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your truck apart. And all there is, and I'll show you on this one so you can see it, there is two little slots, well, this, this little rounded pin right here, that fits into a slot on the cab, and that looks like this, okay? So you can see this right here matches the uh, die cast on, it's got matched die cast, so they marry together. You just push these together and it, and it goes right back on. And that's the way they come off. Um, really simple, actually. And I just kind of give them a little twist, pop. That's it. Um, this is pretty resilient, so you don't have to be too concerned about breaking it. Because you likely will not, unless you're just being insane, uh, crazy with it. Okay, uh, the first thing I went ahead and did on the previous ones I've done is I take out the interior. And the reason for that is, is... We're going to take our handy dandy screwdriver and inside here we're going to push some of these pins out so we can salvage the steps and all of this, okay? We're going to try and salvage these as much as we can. Um, and if not, it, you know, it doesn't work. What are you going to do? So we'll, uh, we got to begin by taking out the grill. That'll be the first, the first thing because, and I'll show you in just a moment, and what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting off the plastic so I can come in here and just push that out. Boom. Done. Okay. Now we're going to save this part over here in our container. I'll just set this off to the side where you can see it a little bit. There. So we're going to set that off. Now, uh, right here you have a piece of two pieces of plastic that are that fit into these two holes here in the die cast. We got to push these out and as well as these two pins right here at the back. Okay, one and two. Okay, and just so you know guys, I'm not gonna ignore anyone, but I just, I'm not gonna answer questions just yet. I'll make time for that in a few minutes, okay? Uh, just so we can get the meat of this done uh, and get you guys some valuable information. Okay, now you'll notice that these pins right here are painted over. So we're just going to take that and just kind of push that out a little bit. Okay, this is where your flathead would probably come in handier than what I'm doing at this moment. But you'll see right here, all I did was I took those little plastic pins and just pushed them down. Okay, okay, and now we're ready to go to the front. Now what I found works kind of pretty slick actually, is you take your X-Acto knife and I think what I did was I kind of pushed that to make sure it was free right here. So I'm just pushing on that just a little bit to make sure I can get behind it. Then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to go in between that plastic and the die cast. Oop, went past it. And you'll probably do that too, not a big deal. Oop, did it again. There. Now see how I did that right there? There the blade is between the die cast and the plastic. All right. Now I'm going to come into this one. Now if you had two X-Acto knives, you can actually put two in here and do this and then pull it right out. So now I'm going to just kind of push on this one. And again, holding it so I don't break any of these plastic pieces, mirrors, etc., etc. Okay. I'm going to just kind of give that a little push out. You could use your flathead for this. I'm using this little sharp thingy I've made out of a used screwdriver. Okay. Okay. And then take your needle nose. Now double checking to make sure those are still pushed in. They are. And I'm just going to grab this and pull it out. All right, let go, my ego.
Okay, looks like we may need to give this a little more help on the back side. Come on, let go out of that. Okay, should come out fairly easy here. Huh, the other one came out easier than this one. I'm going to try and grab this on the back now. Come on. Well, maybe. <laughs> Never fails when I get to something live. It doesn't work right. Okay, that came out. Set that off to the side in your parts bin. Let's see if we broke anything in the process. Nope. Okay. Okay, the rest of this, guys, is really, really straightforward. No magic here. I'm just going to start working my way around this thing, taking parts off. This uh, back screen on the back side of the cab just has some plastic there, as you saw me cut that off. And then it's this chrome piece here. We're taking that off. Excuse me. <coughs> you push that out, done. Um, the tricky thing here is your headlights, because they're uber, uber tiny. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Now, if you look inside, there's squashed plastic on the back side of these right here and here. Make sure you put this face down on something dark. Cut that plastic off. Okay, now I'm just going to push these out with my little sharp tool. Whoop, there goes one right there. See that? And I'm keeping these low because I don't want these things to escape. There's another one. There's one. And there they are. Okay, so all of them are out. Now, I'll show you just how tiny these are. Right there. Look at that. That dude is small. Okay. One, two, three, two, three, four. All right, headlights are out. Danger, danger on that. It is all gone. Now I'm just going to work my way over to these air horns, just because, well, you know, since we uh, have these things and they're in the way, maybe we'll just take those off for fun. Here's what I'm doing, taking this sharp tool here, and just going to push that out. And give it a little push there. And come in on the inside through the driver passenger side window. Gonna give it a little push there and a little push there. This one that I'm working on here is probably the hardest one to get to. There's really no good angle, <clears throat> so just do what you can. Or maybe you come up with a better system than I've got and you share it with me. So now these are mostly free. <coughs> What I'm going to do is take my X-Acto knife right here, and I'm going to kind of hold this down with one finger, with my index finger, and twist lightly. So, we salvage those pins. Just like that. Okay? Actually, I put that in the wrong container. Let's put that one there. Okay, we're going to do the passenger side now. Get the t uh, bottom ones. And I'm just pushing on them, just trying to get that in there. Get those pins out. Going through the driver window. Pushing again. And again over here. 90 degree pick is what Dustin says, and you are right. Excellent work. Thank you for the good idea, Dustin. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, looks like we lost one of them right there. Okay, and I don't like the way this one's behaving, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of get that in there and waller that around just a little more. And what time do we have? 8.43. We're moving along. Okay. And did we get it? Well, we got most of it. All right. So there we go again. It looks like we lost the top one there. And that's it. Just one. Hallelujah. <laughs> right there it is again, guys. Okay. Done. D-U-N. All right. Um, let's go to turn signals for fun. These things are just stuck into the die cast and glued in, so really all you have to do is grab them and gently pull them out, and you'll see the pin is right there. Okay? And in we go. I'm going to flip around and go right here. And again, not giving it a lot of torque, guys, just really gentle. And if you screw this first one up, I hope you're making two. For those of you who've never done this before, if you're making two, that's a great idea. So you can learn on one and, um, you know, and get some practice in. Let's go over around to these hand grabs up here on the top of the cab. I just kind of, they just pull out. And I just kind of work on the front and the back. I really like these bent these curved needle nose, I mean those are just great because what they allow you to do is kind of rock on that so you can just give it a little twisting motion like so and I'm pulling this one straight out and it don't want to come out come on oh come on now well this is going to make a monkey out of me I guess Let's try this one. Come on, let go. Huh. There. Well, not again. All right. Well, can't let it in there, so we gotta just work it until it comes out. Come on. Let's just. There. Nope. Huh. There it goes. All right, ta-da, and we didn't bend it up too much, thank goodness. You can come over here to the front. These work the same way. Sorry about the bounce, and I'm hitting my cord. I don't have it set up the way I normally do. Front one comes out really simply, just like that. These are a little longer, too, by the way, just so you know. Okay, we are about done with this bad boy. Uh, let's go get some air horns for the fun of it. Over here. Okay, you'll notice these pins on the inside. You can push that out, out, and out. So I just take that. I'm sorry for the light. You can't see it very well, but this is what I'm doing. And I'm just getting on top of that plastic and just pushing on it. And there. And the result looks like this see how that pops those out and you should be able to almost there there we saved the pins on that just like so okay working around Hey, while I'm working here, guys, I have a question for you. Um, who is building along? Just so I know. I know we've got one, but I'd like to know who else is building along, following along. Okay. I know you couldn't see that very well, but my sharp screwdriver is on, is actually in the hole where that stud come through. Did that sound naughty? I don't know. Anyway. And ta-da. Saved another one. Hallelujah. Um, 
trying to remember how I took this silly uh, visor off. The, the previous one I did, the visor came off of its own accord. There's a pin here and a pin here on top. And if you can, you can get kind of in between there with your X-Acto knife and just kind of pry that out. And you can get underneath it in between the die cast like that. See? Oop, there we go. Oh, there it goes. And our good fortune. Save the pins on that. Ah, oh, Matt, it's just you and I working on this this night. You, no other, no other takers. That's okay. Maybe down the road they'll they'll want to do one and they'll know what to do. But Matt is our is our crash test dummy. Since he's following along, we'll get to see his progress too. Okay, the mirrors, uh, again, no place on the inside to push those mirrors out. So what you'll have to do is gently grab them and just kind of lift out. Okay? And again, if you've got these curved ones, it allows you to rock it just a little bit out. And look at that. Both pins again. Ta-da! And, oh, there we go. And if you can't, well, okay, so we got to take this, uh, this, uh, whatever, spotlight out. And it pulls straight out. Again, no place on the inside to push it out, so you just got to lift it out. And, ta-da, look at that, beautiful. Okay, Garrett says he is on the road and he is going to start his project next week, so he will have the replay along with everyone else. Well done, Garrett. Okay, the uh, windshield comes out a little bit different than all the other DCPs that I've worked with so far. Um, these all have this side window, and the side window actually fits into this triangle groove on the side of the cab. So you actually have to get in behind that window on the side, and just kind of lift it out like this. Now watch. Ah, shoot. You're going to get your knife in there in between the die cast and the and the plastic. Okay, see, I don't have a very big bite on that. I mean, I've barely got my knife in there. And then I'm going to twist that knife at the same time. I'm going to push on the glass. Okay. Now, I know you didn't get to see that very well, but just know that it, it's kind of, it's not the easiest trick in the book. Hopefully, you can see this one a little bit better with better light. Okay, watch again. I'm going to get close here for you, as close as I can. Okay, I think we got it. All right, watch here. I'm going in very barely. Okay, see that knife is barely on that plastic. Okay, and I'm twisting right now as I'm holding that plastic. I'm holding the plastic out by twisting. Now I'm taking my thumb and I'm pushing on that glass. And I'm going to push that out. There. And you've got it. Now you'll notice this was, there's a little bit of paint right here on the side. And that's because this was on the in, this was up against this post right here. Okay, so that was up against this post, and you'll see the paint. Boom, and that's how that came out. Oh, sorry there. And that's how that comes out. Okay, you'll notice this cab is now stripped. Ta-da! Okay, that's it, guys. That is lesson one. From this point forward, I have videos showing you how to strip paint, so I'm not going to do that for you. I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's, it's already been done. Uh, just go out to rockinhtv.com, search for uh, four ways to strip die cast, and uh, there's four different methods. You know, Pick one that works for you on how to strip this down. Now, if we wanted to take this a step further, we could. We're not. But there's one, two three studs or, or rivets where you can actually take this piece clear off. We're not going to do that. Um, what we'll do next time 
And and if, if some of you overachievers want to go ahead and get going, that's brilliant. Well done. Do it. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to cut the back of this cab out right here. So we're going to cut right along the seam and cut that back clear off. In addition, we're going to cut just a fraction of this piece of this top part off. See, so you're going to have one, two, three pieces to, to assemble back together when we're all done. Uh, yes, got the headlights, Matt. And then we're going to come in over here. And uh, I forget what the measurements are, and I don't even remember if I used this piece of the, uh, I forget what the size of this cab's going to be. Uh, I just don't have that math in front of me. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get this cut, and we're going to cut out part of this, and then we're going to work on sanding these pieces together, truing up the cab. We will take glue and glue it back together uh, temporarily, and then we'll use JB Weld on the inside. And that's going to be next week's steps. Okay, let's talk some questions here, guys. Okay, whoa, that's a close-up. Woo, I got to back up. I'm cute, but wow. All right. Questions, guys. How can I help you make this build freaking awesome? What did I miss in this uh, tutorial that you need to know before we get going on this, uh, before next week's lesson? Um, we're going to ask here. Uh, let me see. Uh, there were some questions ahead of uh, earlier that I didn't answer, so if you're ready to type, right now is your, your opportunity to ask me anything about the build. So uh, if there's something that was unclear, um, one thing I did want to notice or tell you that while, these, while you guys are typing is um, I paid $50 for a tractor trailer off eBay is where I got these. So uh, it was, uh, well, 60 was shipping. There wasn't combined shipping on this particular build, um, so I got both of these for 120 bucks, and that was a semi. Um, it was awesome. How do you do this with an arrow dot? Excuse me. Um, Garrett, if all you have is an arrow dot, you're going to follow the exact same steps. Um, I can't remember on an arrow dot if there's uh, windows in the top of the sleeper. Or, you know, up, up here on top with an aerodyne. I think there is. You'll have to take those windows out and then just keep going like we're going to do it. So it really shouldn't be that big of a trip trick because, um, again, on an aerodyne, this part comes off. So if you're more comfortable taking out the glass and all that other stuff without this on, you can. But really, it's going to be the same steps. So, yeah, you'll peel out the windows. Make sure you do that. And then, and then just follow along. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be a big deal. And if you screwed up, I'll help you out. That's Mrs. Rockin' H back there. She says hi. What other questions do you have? Um, I will likely be swapping out all these tires for the one that's going to be the uh, replica because the replica doesn't have these wheels on it. So I'll do all that. Uh, we're going to stretch out the frame. All this exhaust comes off for the for the replica. And uh, trading out the exhaust. Okay, um, Tyler asked, uh, just started watching, yes, DCP trucks. Um, just for your information, I said this at the pre-show, but for everyone that's watching, do know you can buy this in a resin form, that it's already the right size, and basically you're just going to buy a frame like this, and then and you're done, or paint it up, I mean, and then assemble it, put this on, and you're done. Um, but as I mentioned in the pre-show, uh, for me, it's just kind of a fun, it's it's challenge, and, and I just like working with diecast. For me, it's just a good time, and uh, I just like it, so that's why I'm doing it. And again, I'm building this as a replica for a guy, and then I'm making one for myself, so it'll be a good time. All right, um, skill level. I'm about at <laughs> kindergarten level. Okay, Shane... Uh, ask a brilliant question. He's at a kindergarten level. I do not suggest you start here. Um, go go get you some softball stuff uh, if you want. Go get you a Peterbilt like this, and uh, I, I have a, a new top I'm putting on this. Get you a Peterbilt like this. Add some accessories on it. Learn how to take the grills off and on. Fenders, you know, paint fenders, do stuff like that. Definitely um, do something where you get a, a big win 
ran out of the gate and you have some success right away. Build your confidence and, and all that. I would definitely, as a beginner, wouldn't start out doing this. Um, Jason asked me, I got my, I was looking for bargains, so I went to, D, to eBay and I looked for K100s and I happened to find these. And that's the only reason I bought them on eBay. 90% of my trucks, I'm doing something to like cutting them out and repainting them. So I want cheap ones. So I'm buying $50 trucks pretty regularly from DC Toy Trucks. I'm buying $50 trucks from Outback Farm Toys. And I don't care about the trailer. I usually just sell those. Um, but I'm just looking for bargains because I'm going to repaint them. And eBay is another place. Sometimes you can find them here too. Okay. Um, I'm going to go. I uh, missed a question, so I'm going to go back here. Do you buy? Okay. Jason also says. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, you know, I usually dump the trailers, Jason, for whatever I can get out of them. You'll you'll see me on the, the message boards, you know, 30 bucks shipped here and there, $25. I don't really care. Get rid of them. Or if I can trade them for something I do want, it works. Okay, Wes, um, he's still back in the conversation. Okay, yeah, Wes, I, I wouldn't recommend you start here. And I'm, I'm glad you're humble enough to admit that you're not there yet. I want you to have a lot of success, and I want you to build lots of cool trucks, but I want you to take baby steps. Start out, do something. You know, last thing you want you to do is go out and buy a $50 semi or a $70 or $80 semi, cut it up, and it sucks, and then you think, ah, screw it, I'm not doing this anymore. That would be the last thing I want you to do. If you do want to ta tackle something like this, go get you a cheap Ertle for $5 or 10 bucks out of the sandbox. I don't care. Buy you something really, really cheap and, uh, and practice on that because then you're not out of any money. That's a great one. Okay, guys, 9 p.m. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see the time. Uh, 9 p.m., thank you for tuning in. Don't forget next week, lesson two, we're going to do some chopping. We'll be out in the garage working hard and uh, getting this thing where we want it. So thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget, if you know of anyone that wants, just share these videos. Get them in the hands of people that can use them. I want this to explode and be, I want everyone to build their models that they want. Whether I build them or someone else builds them, I don't care. You build them yourself, great. Get this information to them so they can do it. And, uh, and if you have some skills, make sure you share it. Pass it down the road. Uh, thanks for all the love there, guys. Appreciate that. With that, I'm going to let you uh, off the hook for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and uh, we'll see you next week on Rockin' H TV 11, session 11. Can't believe it. 11 shows now. And lesson two on the K100 standard sleeper build. Thanks so much, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.